the idea still lingering in your head the vision in your head is the kind of life that you are dreaming of living is the kind of life that you want to achieve and yet you've not started working on it why Hi there, this is Goldie Charity. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, you are welcome. Feel at home and be sure to subscribe, to like, and also share. The idea still lingering in your head, the vision in your head is the kind of life that you want to live and yet you've not started working on it. Why? The challenge comes when you want to start at the starting point. And probably the reason as to why you have not started yet is one, overthinking. With overthinking, by the end of your planning, you will have analyzed the pros and cons of your project, of your idea. And uh, if you're way of thinking usually lean on the disadvantage part of life you might end up not working on your project you might end up not working on that idea that you have hence forgetting that nothing nothing good comes on a silver platter simply because you have to undergo some tests to come out victorious and strong and also remembering that gold also undergoes harsh temperatures so that it can come out refined and uh, having that high quality in the market as it's supposed to be. So after analyzing and uh, critically checking on your project, your ideas, don't lean on the disadvantaged part simply because each and every problem has a solution by the end of the day that depends on how you work on it that depends on your determination if you're determined to work on the negative part to work for you that's upon you you work on the negative side so that it works for you in a positive way yes 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 number two the reason as to why you're not starting is simply because you don't know what step to make next simply this this might be as a result of poor planning or uh, unfinished ideas in your project can lead to Yes, not knowing what step to take next. And with that, you'll find that you won't be able to start a project not knowing the next step, not knowing uh, what might happen, what might not happen. Because it's like you're going ahead. You're going, you're starting a journey blindfolded. For you to start and to progress, one, you have to start and stop waiting. Like, let's say you want to be a driver. You won't wait for God to provide you a car so that you can go to a driving school so that you can start driving. You will simply spare some time and enroll yourself in a driving school, learn how to drive, and uh, you're a driver. And you might have opportunities to start driving other cars before you get your own. Um, before you get your own, before you get your own. Hope we'll get our own vehicles. We believe, yes. And uh, also, wait a moment. Oh, you're welcome to have green tea with me. Mm, have you subscribed? If you have. 
have a have a glass of green tea and it's smoky. This is simply green tea, green tea. Is it green tea or what's this thing? It's really cool, it's really cool. You can either have it when it's cold. See, I left mine in the freezer and it became an ice layer. Ice layer. And the taste is cool. It's like good and sweet so yes have you thought of starting it and stop waiting I was taking my I was taking that so that you can have time to think and uh, plan on how to start and uh, plan on how to stop waiting and once you started it is you will notice that it is easier to stay in motion. No, when you are in motion, it's easier to stay in motion than when you are stagnant. If you don't start it right now, you'll find that it will take you some time and uh, with the procrastination, if it's either procrastination or fear, you'll find that it will cost you a lot. It will really cost you simply because you simply because you find out that you had the opportunity to start yet you didn't start and uh, by the time you're going to start it might be too late or you'll find someone encouraging you that it's never late but deep inside of you you know you will know that you've really wasted a lot resources including time remember once you're in motion, it's easier to stay in motion. Here comes my favorite part. Understand that there is fear, but don't let fear overcome you. Number two, understand that there is fear. And uh, giving in to fear, that's giving in to, you're giving in to failure. So remember that fear will be there. It doesn't have to be projected by you. It might also be projected by those people around you. And uh, here comes my favorite part, or should I say my favorite people? My, hey, should I say they're God sent or what? The haters. If you have few haters, that means you're not working. But if you have them, haters, remember, if you're doing something that is positive, not the negative things that would make you have haters that are legit. If you're having the unlegit haters, that's what the unlegit haters are the ones I'm talking about. So if you have the unlegit haters, if you have millions of them, my friend, you're really making progress. No, they have a lot of time simply to think about you and uh, to leave their businesses alone and uh, start minding your own business. Start minding your own business. They start minding your business, and uh, with their cheat ch with their cheat charts, you realize that they really complain and whine a lot. Once you make a step, once you make progress, and uh, once you succeed. But if you're given to fear that people will say this, people will say that, you won't make it because you won't satisfy everybody. You can't. You can't help everyone. No. You can't satisfy everyone's needs simply because there are those who want you to fail. That's their need. They need you to fail. <laughs> so that you... Others need you to fail so that you can be under them. Others need you to fail so that you can be indented to them. 
shout out to you haters you are a great people you are very good oh i'm talking to our haters here hater number one there at the back hi hello hater number two you people are the best people available to make us know whether we are progressing or we are not progressing especially with your noise should they say your what should they say yes with your compliments the compliments that come along that oh she's not doing this like yes i know i'm not doing that but is it benefiting me is it the right thing to do if it is then i'll continue doing it thank you for the compliment thank you for the support hey haters 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 a moment for our haters please yes. once the haters talk once they start complaining and whining let those who are enter through one ear and go out through the other ear because if you start concentrating on what they're saying my friend you're going to really 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 harm stroke destroy your progress because some want you down some want you to be at their level some expect you to be at the level they are placing you like someone sees you as a low class so that when that person sees that you're climbing up the lane that person feels bad and starts talking expecting that you will go back to that level yes and uh, play there you don't go forward but once you know your your what them haters are going to be your big support us at the end but as you journey along they are going to be your motivators they're going to motivate you to press on they're going to motivate you to press on simply because when they make noise you know you're doing something but when they are silent you will have to you will have to go and analyze yourself am i making progress why are they not talking why are they not complimenting why and then from there you start retracing your steps so that you can make progress for them to start making this no not making this for them to start complimenting you again but really when do these people sleep when do they have time to build themselves huh? that's none of our business if you're focused in your own work you won't have time to focus on other people's work you won't have time to focus on other people's business not in a negative way and you won't have time to waste with people who ain't building you up summary start don't wait and uh, number two understand that fear is there but don't let don't allow it to mask you and also remember each time you conquer a step it, there is always a challenge in the next level just like in each and every level of spiritualism there is a devil or there is a higher devil awaiting to, de to defeat to kill or to destroy see you next time bye bye